Hello human, thank you for being on the channel. I want you to click the subscribe button to join the Terrence family. Every time I look up, when you got a character that's powerful as fuck, one of the things humans like to do is put the character against Superman. And I guess that makes sense because Superman is the godfather of all superheroes. You have plenty of characters that are Superman ripoffs. But there can only be one Superman, no matter how many ripoffs they come up with. I'm here to talk about Omni-Man versus Superman. I saw that Invincible show, and that shit was fire! That shit was amazing! It was so fucking good, and it was like at the end of that first episode when I knew I'm watching this whole fucking series. Because I saw the trailer, and I knew it was going to be dope as hell, but it wasn't until I watched it when I realized they got something here with the show. I've never read any of the Invincible comic books. I heard a couple humans talking about it, but not too many humans were speaking on it. So the show kind of caught me by surprise in terms of how good that shit was. But you have Omni-Man, who's basically the Superman of that universe. And we see that, okay, he's strong as fuck, he's fast and all that kind of stuff. The way his power set works, there are a lot of similarities to Superman. And then we see that he murdered the Justice League, also known as Guardians of the Globe. And within that group itself, they got a character named the Immortal, which is basically the Superman of that group. But even though Omni-Man took out the Guardians of the Globe, including their version of Superman, this motherfucker got wrecked in that particular fight. I mean, his face was all busted up, he was dripping like a gallon of blood, and this motherfucker had to spend a minute in the hospital, you know, just all laid up and shit. So, it's my understanding that Omni-Man, he gets stronger from every battle, it's like on some sand shit. If you're familiar with Dragon Ball Z, remember how at first they were entertaining the concept of when a Saiyan gets wrecked and then they come back, they get stronger. They kind of threw away with that idea to a large degree. But anyway, I'm just trying to get you to understand how this Omni-Man character works. So Omni-Man is able to get wrecked and then he comes back and he's stronger. Here's the difference between him and Superman. Superman don't have to get wrecked to get stronger. Superman is already as strong as he needs to be. Superman's issue is, is this motherfucker tends to hold back because he likes to you know, see the best in others. He likes to reason with him. He don't want to kill you. He don't even want to hurt you. But if you keep pissing off Superman and you keep bringing harm to others, he's going to have to wreck your shit. But in this particular scenario, we're going with the scenario where Superman foregoes all that moral humanity bullshit. Because, you know, humans, they, they be on some emotions and stuff like that. And a lot of that rubbed off on Superman due to the wonderful humans that are Jonathan and Martha Kent. Shout out to them. But it's like, if you put my boy in a situation where his sole entire mission and goal is to kill the motherfucker in front of him, then all bets are off. Because at that point, when Superman's not holding back, you might as well kill yourself. The situation that Omni-Man was in where he was fighting the Guardians of the Globe and they had this motherfucker dripping blood and he got wrecked and he had to spend some time taking a nap in the hospital, that shit would never happen to Superman. Superman show up and fucking blink three times and the Guardians of the Globe, they're fucking dead. They'd have killed themselves. Their fucking arms and hands would have shattered on Superman's chest and face. They just not going to be able to damage Superman in the way that you could damage Omni-Man. So if you got Superman versus Omni-Man, what's going to happen is Omni-Man's going to hit Superman and his fucking wrist is going to break. He's going to be screaming all the way to the point where you can hear him out in space and the Superman's going to wreck him. And I'm not talking about wreck him, like put him in the hospital and shit, like how the Guardians of the Globe wrecked his shit and he had to take a nap for a few days. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about Omni-Man going to get wrecked and Superman's going to finish his ass off right then and there. He ain't going to get to go take a nap and recover. He ain't going to get stronger over time because there is no overtime. Omni-Man is dealing with Superman and Superman will just fuck his shit up. It's just that simple. Superman is already leagues ahead of Omni-Man in terms of abilities and strength. Now remember, this is not a situation where Superman is going to hold back. We're talking about a fight to the death. Superman sees Omni-Man and he's like, fuck you and everything you stand for. And that's it. Superman is hacked as fuck. He's a DC character. Let, let's face it, the majority of DC characters are hacked as fuck. But that's okay because you got hackness dealing with hackness. Omni-Man is not as powerful as Superman because he gets wrecked in a way that Superman does not. It takes a lot to wreck Superman. I'm not talking about like using a kryptonite bullet or doing some magic to throw off his balance and equilibrium. I'm talking about from a physical st uh, perspective. If you're sitting there trading blows with Superman, you got to be strong as fuck to damage him. You got to be strong as fuck to kill him, knock him out and all kinds of shit. Omni-Man just don't have that kind of strength. 
We've already seen him get wrecked. Superman has been wrecked before. He has been defeated. But it's under circumstances where this motherfucker's holding back. So more often than not, Superman actually beats himself. And it's not always entirely what his opponents do. You know, unless, of course, he's dealing with Batman. Because, you know, Batman is Batman. Batman be cheating. It's like, just by him saying Batman, he could just figure out a way to beat anybody. Batman be cheating. But Omni-Man, as powerful as he is, and what his ultimate potential could be, don't fucking matter. Because he ain't going to be in a position to get to that. Because his first encounter with Superman, if Superman is willing and ready to kill this motherfucker, all it's going to take is for Superman to punch this son of a bitch one time, like how he did the Anti-Monitor, and the Omni-Man turns to nothingness. Okay, so Superman is a character where, again, he constantly holds back because he tries to do right by his opponent. But you throw all that good Boy Scout shit out the window, all them fucking morals and the shit that humans put on my boy... Oh yeah, you might as well kill yourself, because if you're not a character that can just blink him out of existence, and you're trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, ex exchanging blows, it ain't gonna be no exchange, you're just gonna be dead as fuck. So in this particular match, the winner is easily fucking Superman. Omni-Man, you better stick to dealing with Guardians of the Globe, I mean, you don't gotta deal with them no more, because you wrecked them, but you get my point. Don't, don't ever, in your fucking life, think that you could step to Superman, Omni-Man, stay in your place, don't respect your family. Do a lot of treacherous shit. And then I can't wait to see Invincible Season 2. Thank you for being here, human. I want you to like this video, share with your family, your friends, whatever humans you may know. You punch the shit out of the subscribe button to join the Terrence family. And until next time, human, Terrence out.